Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Glorify app, which is a pretty awesome designer tool. But it's really awesome in the sense that it leans a lot towards e-commerce. So you can even cut out images. Now that's pretty awesome, trust me. And I'm actually going to do a test right now with Photoshop compared with Glorify app. We're going to cut out two of the same images and I'm going to show you what the differences are. Now we know Photoshop, well, first off, it's expensive. You pay month to month and it's super professional. I know it is, but maybe you don't need that type of professionalism or maybe it just takes too long on Photoshop. And I'll show you that you're going to get really great results with Glorify app instead of Photoshop. So this is our main dashboard right now. And let's just go a little bit over what you can expect. I really recommend that you check out the beginner's guide because it just goes quickly through what you need to do to actually get started. So we have e-commerce, social media, ebook creator, and logo maker. It depends what you want to do a design for. In this case, let's check out e-commerce. Wait for that to load. And you can have these, for example, e-commerce already like this descriptions already like the promo image, lifestyle image, comparison image, and all that. Or you can select the type of size. You got like header type. Or this square one just go down Etsy and website let's create a square one so let's grab this square one so now glorify app knows that we want a square this is it now all we have to do is select a design so you got all these designs right here you can either uh, grab one from here or you can search so it just depends so for example technology so it's search on that and we got these let's just say speaker and you got these see how it, it searches let's just grab anything right here so let's grab this one click on it and to say hey if you want to add a new template to your canvas you will not be able to undo so that means if you already have something there it's gonna like replace it so let's add it there and you're gonna see how flexible this is but we're gonna jump into the really important part how to cut out so let's zoom on this right you can click all these you can modify colors and all that good stuff but let's just say hey you don't want that image let's go to my files let's uploads and we're gonna do this one so I'm, I'm actually gonna cut out myself imagine how complicated that is maybe I mean a product can be easy to cut out I mean it's, it's a square it's like a, something really easy to do but see this I even have texture on the back now where you're going to use your background remover is right here so let's click on background remover and it's pretty easy and straightforward to use it it's not complicated and what i love most about it is that it's fast so this little plus button is going to say what do i want to keep and what do i want to remove so i'm going to keep well myself right so just kind of select yourself right here so it actually knows what you want got that and the minus red will will tell you what you want to remove so let's click on the red and just add this and there's a little right here add that and you're done I mean how easy was that to get that done now if you have to do some fine results you can also use hold on move it I don't want to do that let's go back you can use this tool so for example if my ear was a little bit off you would use this tool or maybe there's a lot of hair like woman hair you can go in through through that hair so it's just that easy and that fast all right so we took about less than a minute correct let's go to Photoshop oh wait hold on let's click done and that's gonna take it over there let's show you that really quick there you go I'm cut out and I can move myself boom how easy was that okay Photoshop Photoshop latest version let's same image put it in here Click OK and we're gonna use Photoshop tools right so let's selection tool I'm gonna select myself so that's that's like an auto type of tool and it selects myself but see what's gonna happen all right I'm gonna cut out myself boom but if I go closer let me move that right here see how all that looks do you see how ugly that looks See that now I've done some other complicated stuff that it's even harder now I have to fine-tune this in Photoshop so I gotta head over here select mask I need to round off corners I need to kind of blur and 
do a contrast. Now I got an okay image. So now we got rid. Hold on. Let me select my tool. And you still see this right there. Can you see that? See this right there? All right, let's just say okay because I want to move it around. All right, I know I don't have hair. <laughs> see, there's some um, something wrong right there. Also, you need to take note, all right? So it took me a little bit longer, but not too long on Photoshop. Obviously, I know how to use it, but people who don't know how to use it, imagine how hard that is. Plus, you got to understand, I have an Intel 7 on this laptop that I got right here. I got 16 gigabytes of RAM and I got Photoshop 2019 and I'm paying monthly to month, month to month. So that gets really expensive for something that I don't need too much, right? I just want to cut up my product. I want to use the backgrounds that I already made. And we're just talking about the cutout. To do all this stuff, all these shapes uh, and all that stuff, I mean, it's going to take you a lot longer in Photoshop. And, and this is, trust me for this, it, it is. All right, so other things we can do is we can modify the image. So for example, we can change the background. We can change this color right now. So for example, if I want to do a little grayish, that's possible. You can also use presets. You can do shades and colors. And let's go back to this right here. I want, I want to show you what I like about also about this tool. So I'm going to grab myself right here. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And you can add effects like sepia. See that? Black and white. Let's keep it normal. You can change brightness, contrast, and transparency. But that's not it. So you can also create a shadow. Let's turn on shadow. And we can do a drop shadow or just normal shadow. If I use a shadow, see how that looks? I can remove it and it's gone. I can add it again. See, it, it gives you a different touch to the image. It, it looks more professional. You could even say, hey, he did this on Photoshop. Now you can see the distance. We can change it. If, hey, it's over here, it's over here, vertical, it's up there. Just depending how you want to get that light to hit, you can do the shadow. Opacity, maybe it's too dark, you can lower that, and you can use presets. Now if we use shadow instead of the other one, it just creates a bottom shadow. You can set the distance to this, okay, left to right, up and down, opacity, all right, change that right there, maybe you don't want too much. I like this one better, and I'll just, less opacity, all right? Next thing we have is the reflection. Now if we use reflection, it's gonna make a reflection of myself. Now, you can do a little bit less transparency. Obviously, you don't want the reflection to be the same as you. So that, maybe some blur on it. Uh, move it downwards. So about right there. Click away from it. And check this out. All the effects are going to move with you. So we have the shadow and the reflection on it right now. Those are tools that you don't find in other designers. And you only find them designers like really professional, hard to use, and take up a lot of your RAM and your uh, computer processor resources, like Photoshop, CorelDRAW, um, what others? Like, there's a bunch. But it, it just having this to be able to do it in the internet without using your resources is pretty awesome. Now you can add text. All right, you can add text. We can modify text. So if we add this text. We can change the text right here, the font. Got a bit of load problems because of my internet. That's me. That's not uh, glorified. Trust me. So I've changed the text. See that right there? All this text is available. We can center, left, right, bold, italic, uh, underline, font size, height, spacing. So for example, if you need more spacing, you can do that right there. I'm not trying to make this look pretty. Okay, guys? I'm trying to show you what's possible. All right, next thing we got is you can add a shadow to that also. See how cool that looks. Obviously, you don't want that distance. That doesn't look normal. But it just, you would set that everywhere. All right, let's remove that. Background. So you can use backgrounds that are already available or you can add your own image. Okay, so for example, if I add this wooden background, see what it does. So it knows it's a background. I'm going to move myself a little bit. I said I wasn't going to do this, but. I don't want it to look that bad. All right, next thing we got is elements. So you got free images, shapes. Shapes are pretty cool because it gives you another like touch to the image. 
So I'll add this triangle right now. Okay, click on the triangle. Let's add it. Let's um, resize it. Here it is. Resize it. Let's take it back a notch. Wait, not that much. So let's put up and up. There we go. So it's back here. Set it a bit right there. You can give it a little modern touch to it right there. Did you see how easy that was? There's also icons available. You got a bunch of icons. You can search for icons. You can go back. We have my files. Oh, you can see coming soon. Mockups are coming soon. So that's pretty, pretty awesome. So having able to have like a, a can of soda and put your logo on it and it'll just like flex it like it should, it's pretty awesome. Items, stock snack plugins. My files are uploads, logos, and photo edits. There's a lot of things you can do. You can use all these options right here. Canvas guide, do you want to activate it? Do you want to remove it? Do you want to use it? Do you want to pinch it? Do you want to switch like a mirror-like? So for example, hey, let's switch it. Vertical, keep it horizontal. See, I'll do that cool stuff. All right. Well, this is Glorify. I know it does much more, but I, I think we got the sense of the power that Glorify has. I mean, it's it's easy. You have it there. It's in the internet. You can be at a, you can be at your friend's house, your family's house. You can be traveling, and you can do it from any computer that you have access to, and just start editing and get it done like it should. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to grab the deal that's going to be on right now, the link is going to be in the description. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this. Thank you.